Good evening. This is Reading for Charity again, and this time round we're doing um, Justine by the Marquis de Sade. It is very, very hard <laughs> to find um, a, a cover for this book um, which isn't pornographic. Um, majority of the ones on the internet are pornographic. Um, yeah, if you if, if you have safe search off when you uh, when you Google. You're gonna you're gonna get a face full of um, interesting pictures, definitely. Um, so, Marquis de Sade, uh, the Justine. It's a it's a short book. It's you know two hundred pages long. Um, I managed to read it in a couple of sittings. It's it's a bizarre little book. Um, the so there's, there's there's two sides to this to to how I want to talk about this book. For, so. Um, in essence, the main character, um, Teresa, or, or, or Justin is, is the name she takes, basically just goes through life being used as a plaything for just about every single person she comes across. Um, orphaned at an early age, her sister goes off for a life of vice, um, but only very briefly, and then becomes rich, respected, and able to have her own life. Um... Therese refuses to give in to, willingly to give in to, to, to vice. Willingly, you know, she, she wants to maintain her spiritual purity all the way through. And as a result is subjected to far more, um, you know, sexual abuse than her sister who willingly gives into it. Um... And I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's a point to that particular element that Desad is making. It, it, it's um, more virtuous in the long run to give into it than it is to to fight it. But um, I don't know about that. I, I genuinely don't know about that. Um, the the flip side of the, of, of of the story is that. The way that Sad has written the book, Marky de Sade has written the book, it's the only thing anyone in his world is interested in is sex. None of the other deadly sins are represented at all. Um, you know, everyone is... The only thing anyone thinks of a child is... Or, or, or um, a, a young girl is, you know, <laughs> how quickly they can have sex with it. I mean, that's literally it. Every single character in the book looks at Justine and says, the only existence that you hear on the planet for is for me to stick things in you. That's it. Full stop. That's that. And it's... Uh, it becomes unrealistic at that point. It becomes almost farcical because that's the only thing anyone cares about. Um, in the... In the way that... Sorry, in the opposite way that Mount dealt with what is actually a very similar idea in that everyone in the book is only interested in one thing and one thing only mount dealt with it in a way that actually verged on feeling realistic you can understand what a bunch of you know um horny lubed up alcohol driven people can do in that sort of setting justine is the antithesis of that it, it, it feels unrealistic in that Everyone is so driven by a singular desire to have sex with everything and anything that they possibly can that none of the men who are in the position of power should actually be in the position of power because their lusts would have driven them beyond that point. Um, it becomes unrealistic and it kind of loses the any point that I think Marquis de Sade should or could have been made through the book. Um, I'm losing my ability to speak now. Um, and I don't really know what much else to say about it. Um, it's it's actually man marvellously well written. It's deliciously well written. Um, I, I enjoyed reading the book, not for the titillation reasons, but just because of the turns of phrase and the way that the, the, the dialogue is done and the way that it goes, you know, that the, the story moves. I mean, <laughs> Therese is just... You know the most pathetic figure on the face of the planet <clears throat> and life just seems to want to dump on her all the way through but i mean it's it's well written and well done i am um, 
you can understand why it should have been no well, not should have been you can understand why so many people wanted it destroyed at the time and why it shouldn't necessarily be um why it would have been so shocking at the time um and again there's a little bit of the what we've talked about previously which is the the inevitability of um of i don't want to use the word fate because they never like to use the fate the inevitability of events um <clears throat> because justine wouldn't give in to vice her path um to be used as a as a plaything was put in ahead of her and if only at one point she would willingly go with it her fortunes would change um that seems to be what's laid out in again in this book and I, I, as I disagreed with it in all the other novels, I disagree with this one as well. <clears throat> the ridiculousness of this one, you know, the, right at the very end, you know, where she's saved by her sister, um, and the, her response to this is like, you know, you know, what once she's actually doesn't have to be involved in the life that the world has given her, which is just constantly uses the plaything. She becomes morose, gets hit by a boat lightning, and dies. <laughs> and it's just like it's the literal GM. You get hit by rocks. You know, it's just like the world's use for you is over. If you're not going to be used as, as you know, a sexual play thing, the world has no use for you. Bang, you're dead. It's it's a bizarre, it's a bizarre little book, a bizarre, bizarre, bizarre little book. Um. And I think that it. I don't know how worthy the book is. I mean, it's worthy to a certain extent in that I think it's a, a lovely lit, written book. But I don't think it teaches us anything. I don't think it teaches us anything that the Marquis de Sade thinks it should be teaching us. Um, mostly because of the the ridiculousness of the lusts of everyone involved. It's a caricature, caricature of, you know, pre-revolutionary um, France. Um, and maybe maybe everyone was like that. Maybe everyone was, um, you know, just completely obsessed with sex twenty four seven. They would do anything they possibly could to get it. And no one actually cared about anything else, you know. And businesses were able to run for days without their owners because you know huh, he's just away having sex. It's fine, you know. Don't worry about it. He'll he'll come and and pay you that money later on. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it, it none of it's realistic, and um, it's all just a little bit silly. But yes, should you read this book? Should you read this book? Justine by Marquis de Sade. Um, nah, not really. Um, again, if you're reading it for titillation's sake, you're going to be disappointed because it's not actually that titillating. The The way that the, uh, the sex is written is very ungraphic. I don't know the right way to say that, but yeah, it's, it's not graphic at all. Um... And the, the the book is relatively unrealistic. So, nah, don't worry about this book. Don't don't read it. It's nice that it exists because, you know, it made for some interesting history around the obscenity laws, etc. Um, but in reality, nah. <laughs> it's not that great a book, really. Um, I'm probably going to leave off these reviews here for tonight. Tomorrow, I'm going to do some more reviews tomorrow. Tomorrow will be uh, The Winter Queen, which is the one I just finished. Um, and if I've got time, I'm going to do something special for the uh, the Dundee FC, um, the history of Dundee FC, because that should be um, an interesting little one if I can do it properly. Um, but it will mean some some fankling with OBS trying to get it to work. So hopefully I'll get both of those done tomorrow, um, and then that'll be very useful. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. Good evening. <laughs>